Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are doing another YouTubers as RPG characters. So the last one I did, I did Jazza, and then I had a poll for you guys to vote which one you would want me to do next and what class this person would be. So let's go ahead and see what those poll results are. Okay, so we have the different polls here. So let's start out with uh, what artist should we make next? Let's see what the results are. Casey Golden, oh man, she like crushed it. So 72% said Casey Golden, so we will do her. And then what is her class? A cleric, interesting. So she's a cleric. I need to add ants somehow. I gotta figure out how to do that. So we're gonna make her some type of ant cleric. That's gonna have to happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in, do some rough sketches of Casey as a cleric. Oh, that's a really nice alliteration too. So um, I'm gonna do some rough sketches, try to figure out how to combine her with this class. And then we will pick a design to run with and go from there. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right guys, so we are done with this rough sketch phase and I am really digging where this one is going and I'm so excited to draw Casey. So I made her an elf cleric because I felt that fit very well. I also sprinkled in a little bit of a druid vibe to it just because I feel a lot of her art does with like nature or like I've seen a lot of things with like cute mushrooms and the ants and I think her being a little bit of a druid helps but overall I'm still keeping the cleric vibe. And of course, like, I know I gave Jazza kind of a random companion because usually mages have some type of companion, but in this case I think Casey should also have a companion, so I gave her a little hatch and he's so much fun! I made him more of a quadruped and I think it makes him adorable, but I'm excited to just add him in and draw him in my style. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this design and do a new sketch of a more dynamic pose and then we'll do the line art and the color and we will be done. So I was super excited to jump back into this uh, YouTubers as RPG series because I've been having a lot of fun with this one and then I think probably this one in the 100 Dragons Challenge are probably my current favorite running series on the channel. They're just so much fun to like design characters and design dragons. Like, I just have a blast with these things. So expect a lot more in the future for these because I've been really loving them and this one for Casey especially was a lot of fun to do. I really like the opportunity to be able to incorporate things from uh, people's channels into these character designs and I guess this was the first one where I really dove deep and tried to think of what different parts of her channel I could put into her design and I think it turned out really cute and awesome and it just worked pretty dang well. And then I also wanted to sprinkle in at least a little bit of her personality from when we hung out at VidCon and just kind of show off who she is and her art and her characters and creatures and things and I just thought this was a really fun activity to do. And then it's also kind of fun with this one specifically that I broke outside of my usual character design comfort zone like, I would say I design more like warriors or like ranger classes um, or just, I guess, more martial classes. I don't really do a lot of magical mage cleric designs very often because I, I really like designing kick butt strong people. It's just, I don't know, it, it's kind of like when I was a kid, I really liked drawing knights and like cool armor and swords and... Uh, I guess just the stuff that comes with martial characters. And 
I didn't really do a lot of uh, clerics or mages or magical people, and diving into this made it, like, more apparent that I need to do uh, more magical characters more often. Because this was super fun, and I'm like, I don't know why I don't do more mages and similar characters. I know I did a couple of different mage and uh, magical being designs when I was running my Kickstarter and we did the D&D part of the campaign. Some of the people that played as characters in my campaign had magical uh, characters, so I had to think about how to design them. You know, they don't have weapons, they have more like staffs or wands or like magical books, and I had to think about that instead of the usual kick butt, like strong, beefy person with a sword. And I think this was also a really good exercise for me to expand on that more, since I don't do it that often. And I'm sorry if I rambled a bit in this one. Uh, my brain has just been going a million miles an hour. We're really deep into Inktober right now, and I'm so excited to see that wrapped up. And then I'm excited for some future videos that I have planned for you guys this month and next month. I'm planning on doing more of these RPG character YouTuber things and uh, I'll plug it at the end, and I'll plug it here as well, but if you guys want to participate in the future ones, I'll probably do another poll one eventually on YouTube, but for sure, at least the next one of this, I'll be doing over on my Twitch channel, and we'll do it live so you guys can suggest YouTubers and then vote on them, and then I'll create whatever class you guys vote on as well. So I guess I should probably jump into the actual drawing, because I've just been kind of prattling on about creating RPG characters and designs and such. And uh, this drawing was a lot of fun. I really have been pushing the movement of these characters in general. Like after doing the Jazza one, I'm like, okay, I gotta really keep the momentum going of making dynamic and interesting character poses and movement. So I did kind of this half walking, kind of fanciful, flowing looking design at least for her pose, and then I had a lot of fun diving into different uh, ways that the costume was designed. For example, the staff is kind of a more woodsy looking staff with uh, little mushrooms, just because I've seen a lot of pieces that Casey has made with mushrooms, and I just really love drawing mushrooms. I talk about this more towards the end card a bit, but I just had a lot of fun with the design overall and kind of pushing the different aspects and elements to make this even more interesting. So after I had finished up the initial design, I jumped into the liner, which I have been working on now here for a little bit, and I decided to do it in the uh, blue tones and hues to match with her blue uh, stripes that she puts on her character. I've been trying to do different color line arts and experiment with different colors in general, because I used to do... Um, I, I, I think I've been doing this for probably about a year or two, but I used to do just straight black line art, and I've been really liking just doing a completely different color. Like, it's still in the darker tones, typically, but I like doing, like, a dark maroon or a dark blue and just trying different colored line arts for the characters. I feel it kind of adds, like, an extra little bit of color to them. I don't know exactly how to describe it. There's probably some technical thing behind it that I'm just not thinking of. But it just, it doesn't make it feel as harsh of an outline in digital art. Like, I still like doing the black line art for when I do Copic art, at least for me. But it, it's, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but I've been really liking doing uh, color line art instead of black line art. So then after I finished the line art, I jumped in and did the uh, main blocking out of color, and this was the part where I got to experiment with where to put the stripes, because I had a general idea of where I could put some of them, but I wasn't sure where I wanted to put all of them. Uh, just because, at least with her self-portrait little avatar character, it's just on her shirt. So I'm like, okay, I don't want to just do the little bit of shirt for this outfit, I want to put these stripes in a different and interesting area, so that was fun to try to figure out their placement. And I wanted to incorporate more blues to match her avatar as well, and kind of to tie in Hatch's blue. So I added a couple more little uh, variants of the blue and stripes here and there, and I think it kind of brought the whole character together really well. <laughs> Thank you. 
And I also had a lot of fun drawing Hatch and adding in the details and kind of recreating her character in my style. That was like super fun to do. So after we got all the main parts of the blocking in done, I go in and I start adding details. For example, I come up here in just a minute and I add the painting details of the wand as if she's getting ready to cast a healing spell. And then I also go in later and I start to add the shading and the highlights and just bring the whole character together. Alright guys, so we are all done with our Casey Cleric and I think she looks adorable. This one was super fun and I loved adding little touches of like her and her channel into this character including like her blue stripes which she puts her own little uh, character avatar in all the time and then I had a lot of fun putting Hatch and her ants and all these little fun little bits that relate to her channel and it was, it was really fun. So thank you guys so much for participating in the poll in the Jazza video, but next time I'm going to go ahead and do the next one live on Twitch, so make sure to go follow me at twitch.tv forward slash kmckeg if you want to help choose which YouTuber we're going to do next. So thanks again guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video, and if you aren't already, you can go and hit that subscribe button, I have new videos every week, and if you guys are liking this series, I'd really appreciate if you left a like down below or left me a comment of what other YouTubers you're thinking would be really cool as RPG characters. So thanks again guys so much for stopping by and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody.